Alright guys, welcome back to the LEGO Brick 122. I really hope that your quarantine has been going well. So today we're going to talk about some unreleased LEGO themes. So, um, yeah, let's just dive right in. Alright, first up we have a Phineas and Ferb theme. Now there was only ever one set confirmed for this theme, and this was going to be a LEGO game set. So, I mean, I guess it was a theme within a theme, um, and because it was Phineas and Ferb within... Uh, the LEGO Games theme. However, it was going to happen in 2012, but most people speculate that because LEGO Games were dropping sales so rapidly in 2012 that they just decided that it wasn't going to make enough money, and so they decided to pull it off the shelves before it ever really sold. So, you can still find instructions for this online, except we don't really know how to play the game because we never found game instructions. So that is one theme slash set, kind of, that never got released. All right, let's move on. So we're going to move on to a new theme, and it's called Citron. Now, we have about two sets confirmed for this theme, and I'll put them up so that you guys can really see them. So these sets are pretty cool. One's a kind of monorail set, um, and the other one is, uh, it's it's more of like, it's almost like spaceships, but underwater. It, it, this set, the Citron uh, theme was kind of a uh, space, Lego space spinoff. Uh, so that you can see a lot of that is echoed within their uh, the ship bills and that kind of stuff. The figures I personally think are really really cool, and I wish Lego would have released those figures because I think that those figures are pretty cool. Um, but the sets themselves uh, don't look super interesting. But they might have been good for the time period. No one really knows why they decided not to release this. Um, it it definitely looks like it would have been a good theme, and I'm I'm kind of bummed they didn't do it. But uh, so this was the Citron theme that never got released. All right, so now we're gonna move on to Cybots. So Cybots, um, it's gonna happen. It was gonna happen in about 1955, so pretty early on in uh, Lego, and they were. It was this this first like ball joint concept, uh, which is now like in Bionicle and that kind of stuff. Really big part of Bionicle, and so they were gonna make these more. Uh, these molds for these cybots, um, and th the whole idea around the theme was that uh, the cyborgs or the cybots were going to overthrow the humans. So it was going to be a pretty cool theme. Um, again, probably not really sure, but probably the reason they ended up not doing this theme was just due to the fact that they were going to have to create so many molds and maybe Lego decided that it wouldn't be able to make enough profit off of this. That was going to happen about 1955, Cybots, and it never happened. Alright, we're going to move on, and uh, this is kind of, again, the theme within the theme. So, um, I'm going to tackle about four uh, different themes and uh, figures from themes that we've never had before. Um, and these were going to be in Dimension Packs, but because Dimensions didn't really have a good flair, um, and it just kind of died off, a bunch of Dimension sets never got uh, ever published. So you can look up, and there's tons of Dimension Packs that were going to happen that never happened. Um, personally, I like Dimensions. I wish it had would have taken off a little better. So these are the Dimension Packs. So first, we we're going to have a Looney Tunes pack. Um, and we've never had any Looney Tunes characters, so again, this would have been kind of a new thing that we never had before. We're also going to have a Tom and Jerry's pack. Um, again, something we've never had. Uh, I would have had Tom and Jerry's figures, which have been pretty cool because um, Dimensions, you can use the figures not just in Dimensions, but um, in whatever you're feeling. So you can take those figures and use them in your set. So we would have had Tom and Jerry's and Looney Tunes sets. We also would have had some Smurfs. We were going to have a Smurfs team pack, which would have been really, really cool. Um, definitely would have picked that one up. And we're also going to have Tintin, which would be good. I, I think Tintin would have been really nice. But again, they just did not do that one. Alright, so those were the Dimension Packs that never happened. We're going to move on to another thing, and this just happened in Europe. So this were the uh, Dino 2010. Uh, and these were Dino sets. Um, and if you have any of them, you must have imported them. Um, or you may have the Dino Attack sets, uh, which are slightly different. Uh, they were more f focused on um, killing the dinos in the Dino Attack sets, where the uh, Dino 2010 sets were more focused on capturing the dinos. I'm not really sure why they decided to split it up, um, but Dino 2010 just happened in Europe. So to all us US fans, we just never were able to get our hands on these ones. Alright, we have another one that just happened. This one just in France. And it was La Florista, I believe. Um, I do not speak French, so I apologize if I completely butch butchered that but it was um it was basically about flowers it was just 
flower sets. And these are buildable flower sets, uh, flower vases, I should say, not flowers. Um, and I thought they were kind of cool. I don't know. Uh, kind of interesting, but I, I definitely like Lego in real life, so I thought that this was pretty cool. But, um, yeah, just released in France, which is really, really interesting. So, these are our uh, LEGO themes that never got released. Um, some of these did end up getting released, just not in the U.S. Um, but, let me know what you guys think of these themes. Like, would you have picked up some of these? Uh, so, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And, uh, make sure that you subscribe, because I have some really good content coming out soon. Um, I have some awesome, awesome stuff headed my way. Um, so, especially during these quarantine times, just go ahead and follow and hit that notification bell so you know when my new videos come out because you are not going to want to miss this. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Also, go follow my Instagram. We just hit 1,000 follow over there. So, really, really fun. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much and uh, see you next time.